In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this Easter egg sourdough bread while I share some tips on how I improved my sourdough scoring skills over time. So let's get started. So the first thing I do when scoring a dough is to prepare the tools I need. There are many tools that you can use but I'm using these four things in this decorative score. A brush, a string, toothpick, a pair of scissors, and a sharp blade. I also have this pizza tray which I use as a peel since I don't have one and this helps me turn the dough in the direction where I need it to which you know helps in the ease of working the design in the dough. If you notice in my scoring videos, I score my dough straight from the fridge. That's because a cold dough is much easier to work with because it's firm and it holds its shape. If you're not cold proofing your bread overnight, refrigerate your dough for at least an hour. Now, it's also important to understand that making an expansion score can degas your dough, so it's best to put it in the oven and bake it right after you score. This is why I suggest having a plan for the design and preparing all your tools beforehand. If you want the design to stand out, you can sprinkle either rice or white flour in the area of the dough where you want to make the design elements. I use a toothpick or a string to make outlines or guide marks where I'm placing the elements of my designs. You can see me do this in my past scoring videos. If I'm making straight lines, I use a string. To outline leaves or flowers or something else, the toothpick is best. It's easier for me to find the center and to even out all elements in my design using this technique. When I change my mind, I would sometimes erase this guideline marks or go at it again to make it clear if um, it's starting to disappear. And while I'm not making some wheat stalks for this design, if you want to nail that design element, here are some tips. Deepen the score when you're making the berries so it won't fuse during baking. And score them close to each other and also at a narrow angle, not wide. Oh, uh, you can skip the stalk. Use a toothpick to mark the line don't use the blade. If you leave a score there with the blade, it might open up too wide, which doesn't really look so nice. You don't really need any high-end tools to come up with an exciting design. You can use whatever you already have in your kitchen. And so this is how the Easter egg sourdough bread looks. I absolutely love how this turned out even when it's not perfectly egg shaped. But what do you think? Leave me a comment below for any suggestion. I also hope that the tips that I left you are of value and can help you make beautiful designs in your dough. If you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did create this, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more sourdough baking content.